Sierra Oscar, Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 2, receiving over. Receiving Sierra Oscar 2. Did Alec Peters go for his fitness test, you'll be? Yeah, just gone. We drove him out with a baton charge. <laughs> Sergeant Peters? Yes. Come on over, it won't bite you. <laughs> well, I'm only here for the fun of it, you know. I'm not worried about anything. In fact, I think I'm in pretty good nick for my age. How old are you? 50? Oh, 43. Of course, it ought to be compulsory. I mean, you've got to take a fitness test to get in the job, don't you? So you ought to have to stay fit. I mean, what's the use of a 40 fags a day man with a beer gut when it comes to a riot? I don't think Alec Peters attends riots. I'm not talking about Peters. I'm talking in general. I mean, have you been for a fitness test? I'm going after work. If I've got time. Yeah. Are you in a wee bit there, Sergeant? Well, I've always been like that, even as a child. Yeah. OK, we've got your oh. blood pressure. Now we need your heart rate. Hop up. Aye. Six minutes on the bike. Feed you into the computer. And then we'll know all we need to know. Off you go. Hang on, a bit of action here, Frankie. number Mike Papa Romeo 923 Whiskey heading east along Paul, Paul's Grove Road suspected robbery it's all right I'm just maintaining contact I'm not pursuing just make sure you just maintain contact all right Chasing me for I ain't done nothing. They hijacked me. Shut I put a knife at me throat. Get in. You've never gone and lost them. What do you mean they had a 50 yard start? Well, we'll just have to make do with you then, won't we, sunshine? I have nothing to do with it. They hijacked me. Denies all knowledge. Says they just jumped in the car, put a knife to his throat, and hijacked him. Bring his car in, will you? It's a sitting down job. Should be able to manage that. See, idea definitely all out. No sweat, we can handle it. You... I have permission. Come on, Mr. Rydell, this way. What about his car? A OK, according to Swansea. It's a bit cocky, isn't it, mate? Using your own car? Someone's tearing it to pieces, I hope. Mel's giving it the once over now. In there. Take a seat. And they have left you well and truly in it, my son. Why do their time as well as your own, eh? Come on. Who were they? I don't know. I was just sitting there in my car with the engine running. Uh, oh, you admit that then, do you? I was only stopped for a sec to check my road map. Road map? You haven't mentioned that before. Was there a road map in his car? Yeah. Lost them, were you? Sorry, sir. You wanted to be kept informed. Uh, no joy with him yet. I'll be in. Right, sir. Oi. Yes, sir. You been on this thing yet, Frank? Not yet. No, sir. Why not? I'm going to go late, sir. Good. Where were you going? Half past eleven. Coffee break. Everything all right, Ramsey? I think so. Thank you, sir. I'll take over for a bit then, shall I? There's no problem. PC Frank's kept me up to date. As you wish, sir. Whatever you think's best. Mm -hmm. You two can get back out on patrol then, can't you? Yes, sir. Sir. 
get this man a cup of coffee before you go. What did you say to him? That you weren't making much headway. And what do you know about interrogation? Well, you can get a little toe rag his coffee. I wonder what Conway's fitness rating is. Pretty good, I shouldn't imagine. Yeah, from the neck down. 743 from Sierra Oscar receiving over. Sierra Oscar 2 receiving over. Disturbance in grounds or roads, 743. Resident reports two men fighting in the street. Terrific. Like I do again, stuck in. Ground cell road, quick. Or are you going in the back of the van? What's the problem? He's smashing up my motor, that's a problem, innit? You pussy He's a nutter. friggin' liar! For a nutter! Shut up! What's all this about? I've done work for him and he owes me money. What work? On this motor, 300 quid's worth of me garage. He's mad, totally. I told you to shut up. What garage? Feet the marches off of Gruber Street. I've never been near the place. Who's gonna pay for this? You are, you shyster! Oh. Look! Okay! So I've done the work, right? The brakes, the clutch, the lock, all but the tune-up. He calls in, I tell him it's all done. Right, he says, I'll call back tomorrow and pick it up and pay for it. So I come in tomorrow and the friggin' motor has gone, hasn't it? Well, how do you know he took it? Cos it's outside his friggin' house! Oh. Come on, get out of the way! Get out! Get out of the way! But you've had some right plonkers in here today. About average, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, very average. Right, let's give this a little tonky in there. No, I don't think so, son. Your blood pressure's a wee bit over the top. My blood pressure? Leave it out. Well, it's stress, I expect. So we won't do any of the biking today, and I suggest you have a check-up with your doctor. That's a bit quick, wasn't it? Bloody waste of time, innit? 